you guys are out there, hop on, say hi. Let me know you're there. Tonight we are doing part two of my auction thrift haul. And I've got all kinds of goodies. How many do I have on the list? 30 items on the list, y'all. <laughs> so we got a lot to go through. Let me get my comments going here. See who all we've got out there. Oh, come on. Hi, Teresa. How are you doing? And Miss Joyce is out there. Hi, Joyce. Carolyn and Sharon. All right, guys, come on in. We're going to get started here. We got quite a few items that we're going to go through. Now, everything that I'm showing you is listed um, on the website, I think. Yeah, because last last haul I showed you items that I was I was going to keep for myself. So, hi Pam, thank you for sprinkling. See Miss Peggy's out there, Linda, hello, Angela, Joy, come on in, guys, get comfy. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Now, I'm gonna start with this cute little glass uh, picture, even flow picture. And now, I love the handle on this. I thought that was just so cute. It's got the wording on it, even flow. It's got the measurements on the back. If you guys can see that, let me move these comments out of the way. There we go. Are you coming to? I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. Pam's having uh, in the craft show tomorrow. Hey, how's you, Carol? I'm doing good. Hi, Pam. Diane and Miss Pamela shook the spruce. Thank you. Okay, so now on this, it does have a chip up here on the top, and I'm gonna sand that down so it's not like sharp or anything. But this one here is listed, um, these were selling for like 15 bucks and up on um, eBay. But this one's listed on my site for $10. Even if it's not, you know, don't use it as a picture. Use it to put little flowers in it for the season. I love its vintage shape and look. So, what's it say? Get Cindy and get get Cindy and get your card. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's the even flow picture. And now we got these vintage double metal buckets. This is adorable, you guys. So cute. If you haven't seen on the website, I staged this. You can put wine bottles in here. Or you can do your uh, wooden utensils, a rolling pin, that looks cute too. So you've got options with this. Miss Pam says, hi all, hi Patsy. I am doing well, I hope you're doing good. She says, oh my gosh, do I see Jadeite? You do, you do. <laughs> Carol, you see it. I've been on the lot specifically for that. So, okay, so we've got this. I just, I labeled this Vintage Double Metal Buckets. And when I Googled this, these are $70, y'all. It's got the little handle that's got the um, threads on it. If you guys can see that. The little wooden handle and the metal little thing that holds it together. I don't know what it's called, but it's listed on the website for $24. And it's got one quart, one and a half pint, one pint, half pint. It's got little measurements on there. So very cute, very cute. $24 guys on the website. <laughs> Miss Patty, how are you? It's been a while. <laughs> It has been. Okay, 
this vintage little nut grinder. Y'all, this is cute. These are also cute for decor purposes. Put your little stem, your flowers and greenery in there. Now the bottom is glass. It's still got the little wooden handle on it. And that's what the inside looks like. Very cute. And this is on the website for $12. I love these. I love the detail on the glass. And the fact that it still had the little handle on it. A lot of times those are broken off. But very cute. $12, guys. Debbie, caught you live. <laughs> Hi, Miss Debbie from Ohio. Excuse me while I... Excuse me while I run to the website. You go right ahead. <laughs> Love that. Oh, Patty, you've been working crazy hours, girl. Bless your heart. That's cute. Okay. Okay, now we've got a planter here. This came in a lot with a bunch of other items that I um, was bidding on. And I'm going to list it just like it is but it is one of those items i was debating on whether or not i wanted to paint or upcycle it so we're going to see um how it does first and then if it's on there for a little while then i will pull it and we will do a paint technique on it and see if that helps it but like i said i still like that coppery brass kind of aged look to it and it does have the original sticker Decorator Outlet, uh, and then the address, Jefferson City, Missouri. So, and this is listed for $14.98 on the website. And this little, little tin, it's got the little felt bottom. You guys can see that. A bristle tree, yes. Such great vintage finds, Miss Linda. Hi, Miss Debbie Freeman. How are you? You're not too late. <laughs> okay, we've got this vintage sector, y'all. The color on this is so cute. And it is the uh, triple screen sifter. And this one is still in good shape. It's a Foley Sift triple screen. Very vintage. Cute, cute. This one's listed on the website for $20. Sandy says, hi, I knew. How do you order? Um, Sandy, you can go into my website, thesimplespruestudio.com. I think I put it in the description box below here and uh, go to shop and it'll have everything listed that I have for sale and you can order whatever you like. What's the label say on the bottom of that? Patty, it says Decorator Outlet, Jefferson City, Missouri. It's got the address on there. Is that too close? Can you guys read that? Okay, and now the Vintage Sifter Foley Triple Screen Sifter, $20. Adorable, and like I said, it's clean, it's in good shape. I love it. I almost kept it. Hello, just got notification. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Miss Debbie. Love that. <laughs> okay. 14 pieces of jadeite and it is fire king so we've got four of let me see if you guys can see that see the design on that we've got four of those saucers and it's got the little cute little edge 14 pieces. Let's see, what do I have it listed for? $45. These were all over the place. You could get one set of these on eBay. Just one saucer, one cup for $35. That was the cheapest one I found. 
crazy. And then they had six of them for, so six plates, six saucers for $125. So I did not realize the price of these. I've seen it tons of times, but oh, was that, was that where you bought it? I got all of this stuff on an online auction. But you guys can find all of this listed at um, on my website at thesimplespursestudio.com. And what I do is I love to go thrifting. I love finding items, um, odd pieces. A lot of times I'll uh, clean them up, sell them as is, or I will upcycle them, give them a new paint job, use them in a thrift flip, um, stuff like that, and then put it on the website to sell. Sometimes like the um, this here, depending on whether it sells as is, like I said, if it doesn't, I'll pull it, I'll do a paint technique on it, do maybe a farmhouse or French country uh, design or um, technique on it and then put it back on, see if it sells that way. So, and then if you are new, some nights I do thrift hauls and then other nights you will catch me where I'm doing uh, crafting or upcycling items, so. Okay, we've got four of those with that design on it. Then here is, here are the little teacups. They've just got the ribbed. Well, I say that three of them are ribbed, just like this. And they're in very good condition, guys. I could not. I love rubbing my finger around there to make sure I cannot find any little flea bites or chips on it. So three of the cups were just the rib. Now this one teacup has that design, flowery design on it, and then the ribs at the bottom. And then we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, six of these saucers with just the ribbing around it. Very pretty. I think my uh, middle daughter the one that was home from Washington for Thanksgiving. She, I think she fell in love with these. She thinks she needs to have a formal uh, dining room now that will probably never get used. <laughs> so yeah, 14 pieces of Fire King Jadeite teacups and saucers. And I was gonna show you guys, yes. If you can, I know it's probably hard to tell. It does say Fire King on the bottom there. So, very pretty. All right, we are going to set these over here so they don't get knocked over. The BQ with small Christmas tree in it. Do you buy, do I buy while on live also? Do I buy, I do uh, online auctions. Very pretty, hello from Arkansas, Miss Pat, I thought that was you. Okay, enamel, it's a vintage enamel green tea. This is another cutie. Very cute. It is in pretty good condition, too, guys. Like the handle does have a little piece out of it right there, which is not bad. The lid. You know, usually you find these pieces that the whole bottom's rusted out of it or it's got dents all in it. So, yeah, this one was in really good shape and this one's on the site for $24 cute I love this one I love the size of it the color the fact that the handle is still on there and it still has its lid so $24 and I found this exact one for 40 that sold for 40 on eBay
Okay, we've got an odd piece here, guys. <laughs> I did have to do some research on this little thing. This is solid brass. Uh, did you say something? Oh. I can't read what it says on the bottom of it. But I did. I had to look this piece up. Can anybody tell me what it is? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jean. How are you? Oh, I think she wants to know if I'm selling live. I do do live sales sometimes, but this one is not a live sale. So usually I'll take um, some items that I've had for a while and when I want to do, I don't know if I want to call it like a fire sale or something, I, but that I want to move products, then I'll come on and do a live sale. Um, but I'll always let you guys know in advance, at least a week ahead of time, if I'm doing a live sale to where you guys can. And I'm thinking about even doing the next one um, as like an auction to where you can actually bid on items. So I'm going to try that. I haven't done the whole auction bid thing, so we'll see. But yes, I have done those and will do those again. But this one here is just stuff that I'm showing you that I thrifted and that I put on the website for sale. <coughs> okay, so this is an archaic Chinese brass ritual wine vessel. <laughs> Say that three times real fast. <laughs> oh, yes. This, a lot of these items, I didn't necessarily bid on them. They were in a lot because they usually just take lots of items and lot them together. <laughs> okay, Sandy. <laughs> You're welcome. Now that I know what you meant. Ugh. Stay with the group, Becky. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Anna William, items are for sale only on her website, not purchased from the live. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't sure what she was asking. I gotcha. Cold Breezy Chicago. Roberta. Oh, I bet. Just placed an order on your website. Yay for me. Good deal, Pamela. So, yes. Chinese brass ritual wine vessel. Solid brass. Now, the handle... I think is then disconnected from that spot right there and it's over here now. It will not move. I tried, I don't know what happened to it, but I think my son-in-law even thought maybe, I think it was him, thought maybe it was even like a little ashtray when you put your cigarette on there, I guess, <laughs> which hey, could be. You know, we like using things for different items or different different ways, but very cool. Very cool item. Like I said, I love odd pieces that I have to actually look up and see what they are. And the price on these, again, this here was all over the place. Certain ones literally were going for $193. Never seen them before. Didn't know what it was. The cheapest one I found was 75. I don't know what the significance is or I mean, maybe it's a collector's piece. But like I said, I do know that the handle has been broke there. So this is listed on the website for 45. So, and it is substantial, it is solid brass. But well, three, three legs on it. Very cute, conversation piece. Okay, moving on. Got the teapot, got that. Oh, la, la, la. my little canning jar here. This can also came in. This is a um, Kerr canning jar. And this has got the galvanized zinc lid on it with the glass. I think it's glass in there is that what that's I think that's what that is the glass insert in the lid and it's got the little fruit on the jar very cute and this is also on the website for eight dollars but actually now that I've got that this is a 
ball jar lid. I can finally see that in that light right there. Ball jar lid and the Kerr jar. How cute, $8. Yes, they're glass. Thank you. I thought that's what they were because I had some ones that actually pop out of the the actual canning jar lid. And I think they were kind of that blue. I want the canning jar and... Oh, you wanted the canning jar and someone beat you to it? Oh, Carol, have you signed up for text alerts? Because I always send out a text alert saying when I'm going to do a thrift haul. So then that will trigger you to go straight to the website to see what's on there. So, and if you guys want to sign up for text alerts, all you have to do is text the word SPRUCE to 833-942-5451 and it'll automatically set you up to get text alerts before I go live. And it's free and that's all you'll get is uh, messages saying when I'm going to be on. So sign up. As soon as you get that text alert saying that I'm going to be doing a thrift haul, then you should, you'll know, oh my gosh, I need to go to the website. <laughs> because I actually make all my items active about five minutes before I go on live. If that helps you guys. Okay, we got a brass candlestick holder. Okay, no, we want the set of three. I got these listed as I had two or I never remember what I price them for. And brass is hot right now. So we've got a set of three. Ta -da! Aren't they pretty? I love brass, guys. So we got a set of three brass candlestick holders and they are for the set of three, $48. They are solid brass, made in India. They all come apart, of course. Some people say cleaning purposes, not real sure. Maybe if you wanna make them interchangeable bases. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm still confused a little bit on why you can take them all apart. So can you repeat the number please? Yes, I can. Just text the word spruce to 833-942-5451. Peggy says, love the text alerts. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you guys these, the detail on these up close. They are so pretty. This is another item that was hard for me to let go because I love some brass candlestick holders. And this one. And that's so cute. So those are also on there. Yeah, if you guys noticed I got a Christmas tree over here that still hasn't been decorated yet. I'm so bad. I haven't gotten to it. Okay. Oh, we got this cute little tea light holder, little tin tea light holder with the little handle. How cute is that? It's still got a candle in it. And this is on the website for $8. So cute. You can actually find a votive. Um, I didn't have any to show, but I would have staged it with a votive top, little chimney top thing on it. It's got the little hooks on there. You guys can see those. So yes, that one's on there for $8. Just love candlestick hold. I do too. <laughs> Carol says, I won't miss it now. <laughs> Good deal. Okay, and we got another brass one here. Another brass. This one is cute. And this one is a more of a polished clean. It hasn't done much tarnishing yet, but again, it screws apart. <laughs> and this one's 
brass also, so cute. And I think this one's on there for 14. And I did look this one up and this one sells for $35 on eBay. And you guys can get it for the low, low price. <laughs> Infomer infomercial there, $14 on the website. I love it with the little handle on it, so cute. Okay, oh, did I? Yeah, I did. I thought I left it hanging on the wall. This is a vintage antique rug beater. And look at all that rusty, crusty goodness, you guys. I love these items. It still has its wooden handle on it, believe it or not. And this is on there for $22. How cute is this? Hanging up on your wall with some maybe dried flowers hanging from it. You can tie a little ribbon around it, some jute twine. So cute. Let's see, I forgot how long it is. I got my tape measure over here. Uh, those candlestick holders are beautiful, Debbie. I know. I love them. Uh, 32 inches. 32 inches long. Love this piece. Okay. Oh. Which one is that one? The cream can. The cream can. Oh, got it right here. This is another good one, guys. I love the patina on this. How cool is this? This is a... Where's that one at? Oh, the Vintage Cream Can for $18. Look at the old wooden handle on that. It still has its lid, of course, because the lid is chained to it. Not that that matters. A lot of times the lids are. But that is adorable. And this one is, what did I say, $18? $18. It's kind of got the red, a red color coming through on it. Love the look of the patina on this. So cute. Hello from Virginia. Hi, Susan. So yes, the antique or vintage cream can is $18. Okay, got a lamp, guys. This also came in the thrift haul. It's a brass. Look how pretty this is. And a crystal shade on it. It even comes with its own light bulb, guys. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna take it out. I did test it, it works good. You can see it on the website, there's pictures of it. I heard of the rug beater, but never seen one. Oh my goodness. And I had 68, hi Brenda. Oh, I know, I love them. And like I said, the rustier it is, the better. I mean, those things, do they just tell a story. So yes, the outlet's good on it. It's got the little switch on the cord. Very pretty and heavy, substantial, very substantial. Uh, it says made in China. And this lamp is, okay, I did look this one up to see what these, the original price of these, $140 and up, depending on the size. This size here, the cheapest I found was 140. So this one is listed on the website for 75. Like I said, it's got the little crystal, pretty crystal shade and it does not have any chips on it. No little flea bites or anything. We got that. 
So what's everybody got going on this weekend? How's everybody on their Christmas shopping? I've done some. <laughs> I still have two kids that need to tell me, give me some ideas, and they haven't done it yet. So if, what they get is going to determine, you know, if they give me any ideas. They've got to tell me something. This lamp is beautiful. Thank you. All right. Now, I just recently had one of these buckets, and it sold before I actually got off my live. Cute little decorative slotted bucket. Found another one. I think the other one that I had did not have the handle on it, um, and it was a little bit taller. But this one's got the handle on it. So, and these look really cute, lit up. And this is on the website for $10. Like the little patina all over it. Very cute. For 10 bucks. Okay. Gosh, we still got items to go, guys. Oh, okay, we got a vintage watering can. And this is 12 inches tall. This is another one of those that I debated on whether or not I was going to paint this, but we're going to see how it does. $13. And it's got the little colored spout handle and the little handle on the, the lid. Very cute. Decor purposes, of course. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, this decor. It doesn't have the little holes or anything for anything to come out. So, and this is the design on it, if you guys can tell. It is raised. It's textured. $13. Hi, Miss Brenda. You got, you bought the bucket. <laughs> Carol bought the bucket. Uh, okay, so we have got this clear glass vinegar bottle. I love the shape of it. Now the topper is plastic and this is actually glass. And if you see it on the website, this I did not have cleaned out, but I did figure out that I could get this off. So once I did get it off, I did clean that. So this looks a lot cleaner than the website picture. So, but I thought this was cute because it's got the two little spouts on each side of the top lip of the glass. And then it's also has the little markings the one on the bottom has a V for vinegar, then the next one up is a W for water, and then the O for oil. So it tells you, I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see that. So it tells you on there where to fill. You see the O up there? Very cute. And no chips or anything on this either. So and this is on there for $7. Okay guys, we're going back to the 40s. This. Okay, any of you youngins out there, can you tell me what this is? <laughs> I was surprised my girls knew. One of them said, doesn't it have to do with like bread or something? It's like, yes, it is a 40s, 1940s toaster. Kind of art deco-ish. You can see the little the design on it there. Very cute. It's got the little wooden handles on it. It does not have a cord, so I don't know if it even works. I'm not sure if I'd ever try it <laughs> or use it for anything but decor. So, but you guys, so cute. And a little vintage vignette in your kitchen so cute 
So it is on the website for $12. And it actually still has all four of the little knobs, surprisingly. But very cute, very vintage. A toaster. <laughs> Yes, yes, for Italian dressing, yes ma'am. Why are you selling your jars? Oh, your girls got you. My jars, my girls didn't, I don't. My jars, that the girls got me? I don't know what the, what jars my girls got me. They make fun of me because I, collect or save jars. <laughs> they do. Okay, this was also in one of the lots. And when I seen it in the picture, the lot was going for such a cheap price. I'm like, it's a, it's a toy, isn't it? But it's not, guys. It's an actual phone. Cord and all with it, you guys. And it's the rotary phone. This is one of those items when I took uh, my middle daughter, Morgan, into uh, a resale thrift store. One point, she seen one of these and she was like, what is that? She's like, how do you even use that to call? <laughs> they know now, but they did not know. So, yay. So yes, very cute, very old. Phone. It's still even got all of the phone information on the bottom. So this is on the website for 26. This was another item that I looked up to see if it had any kind of value to it. And to be honest, some did, but the prices were from one extreme to the other. I mean, it was like 40 and up to 200 and something. So I was so confused on the pricings on this so a lot of these items guys i'm still trying to get familiar with and figure out how to price some of this stuff okay also do we have anybody who likes the little swans we got a set of swans with the little flowers and it's got the little gold trim around it and these are listed, got the little gold beaks on them too. $8 on the website. Surprisingly, the little flowers are all still intact. But so cute. $8 on the website, guys. And any Coca-Cola lovers, collectors, this was in one of the lots. And this is on the website for $6, 16 ounce. It's a flare glass featuring a design from the turn of the century, the Coca-Cola company. And that's what it says right here on the back. There's a little. So I did list this on there for $6. I wasn't sure if it is collectible or anything like that, but I know there are people that love to collect Coca-Cola items. 